for the HD snow. Yes. Well, in case we have like an amazing conversation, I started recording, but like there's nothing going on. <laughs> every possible smash subject yeah i don't know what else i don't know what else we can talk about really see we can talk about then everyone is here we can talk about oh what character do you want to come see come back as dlc but no you can't anymore. not anymore i like um, imagine <laughs> Yeah, stuff like like home run contest and stuff. Imagine if they're just random mini games in a uh, world of light. That'll be pretty funny. <laughs> that would be that'd be good. I mean, that'd be good. Yeah, it would break up the fights. I'd 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 prove it. I'd approve of that. We need we need more. We need more home run contest back. I, as weird as it is to say, we need it back. It feels weird to have it omitted. Like it doesn't. It feels weird. Like it's you just, it's just something you expect to be there at this point. Ooh. Now we've taken a lot of things for granted. Mm. Ultimate um, things for granted from the series up until ultimate. Like as the trophies would always be around. Yeah, we uh, we thought it was just a matter of time before trophies came back. I I'm kind of I don't mi I I don't really mind that they're gone at this point because like we have spirits, uh, and the, all the, the there seems to just be a a crazy amount of uh, spirit battles which are basically basically gl glorified event matches and that's basically a dream mode for me because that's one of my favorite parts of the other games. And just having a mode that's just hundreds of those is just yes, <laughs> I want that. So I don't know. I do miss. I still miss trophies though. Having an actual retro rep. <laughs> Piranha Plant is like the closest you get. <laughs> A plant is more relevant now than. A third of the characters in Smash, actually, so... That's true. Nice. Because he was still in a game this decade. Mm. K. Rule and Dark Samus could technically count, because they haven't shown up in a... Well, Dark Samus showed up in Smash 3 and Wii U, so... Well, I mean, a, a, outside, outside, outside of Smash, like, in, like, an actual, like, Siri, specifically, uh, was Dark Summers in Metroid Prime? Uh, in she, she was, in, in, what? That was my last appearance. For Prime 3, so that was 11 years ago. Yeah. And, um, was the other character? K. Rule last yeah. major appearance before this was Mario Super Sluckers. Yeah. Did he, like, in terms of, like, main series, like, did he really appear in any main, like, Donkey Kong-specific games after 64, is, or is that, like, the last main appearance? Fine main. Uh, Donkey Kong is, like, the main... Uh, appeared in King of Swing and Jungle Climber and Barrel Oh, Blast, like, okay. Platformers, DK64 was his last appearance. Okay. Hmm. That is... K. Rool has been kind of been retired for a while. I've seen some comments being like, "Yeah, I I wouldn't mind if they just did a thing for the f uh, third returns game, and just said like K. Rool was behind the the schemes of the Tiki's and the Snowmads the whole time." Yeah, and you don't need. That's a, that's a hijack by Ganon moment. <laughs> yeah, I suppose, but I I I want Kai, I I want K. Rool and the Kremlings to come uh to 
I, I, I want the Kremlin crew to come back. It would be cool. What do you think about the enemies from the Returns games? Alright. <laughs> I wasn't... I wasn't really that miffed <laughs> K-Roll was gone to, to begin with, but... I didn't... Yeah, it's not something I thought about until later. But that's mainly because... I didn't really think too much about those things, but... Hmm. I mean, they gutted. They, I mean, they got rid of the crowns, but retro kind of gutted a lot of rares iconography. Yeah, I mean, they kind of just wanted to do the. I, I, why I heard they wanted to make the tiki's because they didn't feel, they didn't want to rely on someone else's creations, which I can respect. But yeah, comes out of price. People, people complain about Mario and Zelda reusing villains. Well, that's well, well that's what happens. Yeah. <laughs> uh, you want something else, you're gonna have to cut out to be made. Yeah. Um, I never mind Bowser being benched for like a one game, but yeah, I I don't mind a difference for like a game or two. Yeah. And I do like the snowmads. I think the the they're decently threatening because they actually take over the island. Nomads have like a. They remind me of rares enemies for some reason. Like I can feel. Kind of. Oh. One thing I will say uh, is that they kind of had a missed opportunity uh, with the. There are like some B levels that look like they're ripped right out of DKC two, and they could have easily put like some zingers in there. There's a missed opportunity. <laughs> Anyway, what was it? Um, well, and technically, I guess K rules are retro rip. That like, I can't even. I guess. Even like I can only say, I had to say that with uh, several caveats. Um. I yeah I I don't I barely consider him like a retro, but that's the closest we get. I have. Retro character from an active IP. <laughs> yeah. Virtually in the same boat. He had a game this decade too, so yeah. Um, what was I gonna say? Yeah, so that's the thing. We don't have an actual retro rep, and I was expecting it, and I took that for granted. Mm. Yeah, I, uh, man, like it feels so weird not having an actual retro rep. Like, who would you have chosen? Um, whoever I would have chosen would probably not be who Sakura I would have chosen because nah, probably not. Mark on a regular basis. Um, <laughs> and uh, I mean, if we can expand the pool of retro reps that kind of go past 1989, that would be great. <clears throat> but if we have to keep it within like that circle of 80s characters, then Tide Biker is probably the Probably the one people suggest a lot, even if the Excite series has technically been active mm -hmm. to the century. Yeah. I guess it's kind of a Game & Watch scenario where technically there were new games of that quote-unquote series. Even before, even around Melee's release, but they still treat him like a retro rep. Mm. I guess specifically the OG Excite Biker or the Nintendo 64 Excite Biker. Um, that would be good. that'd be something interesting. Um, Mock Rider is probably the probably the one people tend to suggest a lot. Yeah, I've heard that name a lot. Yeah, I but don't I really have any. Screw the Grinch rumor for getting my hopes up. Seriously, whoever decided to do that crap, that is just uh, an evil person. You are a bad person. Oh gosh, um, Balloon Fighter is the, yeah, that's the, that's the one I kind of want. That would be interesting. Yeah, what they do, but I like just seeing old, I like seeing the 80s characters reinterpreted. <laughs> um, 
Mike Jones from Star Travis because yeah. even though no one would recognize him. I I I, I want Mike Jones just just because uh, my aunt dude would just go crazy. That is the most appealed to obscurity toys I can think of. Yeah. I'd be down with that. No, most, the most appeal to obscurity choice is the Famicom. The heck? That's Nintendo has its own character named Goku, and he is also based off of the Monkey King. <laughs> oh, I love the, the, the there's a spirit that's just like Goku and uh, someone else. Uh, and, <laughs> oh man. It, it's like, not the, it's not DBZ Goku, it's like the, the one you've shown me, it's that version. The one we deserve, yes. That's amazing. The greatest hits trophy, at least. Mm. Um, who else? Rana, even if no one outside of Japan would recognize her, unless you really pay attention to Melee. Yeah. So say Sakura should split the difference and put Ayumi and Mike in. <laughs> Third party, I guess you could technically make Erdrick of Dragon Quest the um Yeah, stretching it because IP itself is still very active. Eight like NES and arcade. Uh Donkey Kong Jr. and Stan Lee. <laughs> yeah. um, I'd like to see them. Yeah. Discun, the ma mascot of the Famicom dis oh, system. That would be interesting. Don't know what they do, but. Suckapon, Superpon. You know, that pink. Oh, the, the, the Pokemon? Thing. The Pokemon? I think. It's not Pokemon, so. Wait, what is it? Uh, I don't. Um, what is that from? Was that that limp? She's from Joy Mech Fight. Oh. Mech Fight, um, I don't know why I thought it was a Pokemon. Because she was like, I think she was shown off like right before Beware. Yeah, yeah, that's it. Yeah. Correct. Yeah, that limbless Rayman esque. Yeah. Robot. <laughs> Surprised she's in the game at all. It seems like Sakura had reasons to get a cameo for her in Melee, so that fell so mm. through. Oh my, so yeah, that'd be interesting. That'd, <clears throat> that'd be like a neat little history moment for Nintendo's fighting games. Uh, being expanded into the 90s, I think we could. From panel to panel, is still kind of the that's the pie in the sky. Um, yeah. He ostensibly represents puzzle games and just kind of. Technically, her series isn't her series isn't really dead either. It still gets games, just not with her in them. Oh, that's depressing. It's kind of like getting reskinned or getting every internationally or just overall like. Attack that started Yoshi. Game came out, got the Pokemon license attached to it, and that's how we got Pokemon Puzzle League. Hmm. Oh, man. It was a sequel, like a story sequel with Panel the Pod on the GameCube, but that never got localized here. Hmm. Planet Puzzle League on the DS, but that doesn't really have any character theming at all. Yeah. Then we had. A decade after Planet Puzzle League, an Animal Crossing New Leaf mini game that did kind of feature that was based more on the original game and had a lip costume. Mm. Oh, Nintendo man. clearly remembers her. <laughs> yeah. And, uh,. So yeah, lip technically can't be retro because her IP still is active. <laughs> um, <laughs> it hasn't been active in like several years. Wave Race. <laughs> oh yeah, they. 
Just want like I want Ryuta on his jet ski for the whole the whole time. Mm -hmm. This is by just traveling on a wave of water. Hanji just turns the jet ski and swacks everyone. And Castle Roll has been as far as, as far as I know, it's been dormant for like 15 years as well. And Ray. Uh, yeah, it's actually, to be told, Nintendo actually does do a decent job keeping most of its IPs alive. <laughs> I haven't really been... The ones haven't had a game, really major ones haven't had a game in like 10 plus years or Earthbound and F-Zero. I think F I, I think Earthbound like Earthbound the cre creators like Flowers said that he's not gonna make another game, so Earthbound Earthbound had its time and uh, on its own terms I can respect that. Earthbound uh, the the thing with Earthbound is like they just need to really they just need to localize Mother Three and then people will be happy. That's all you need to do. Don't need don't need to make Mother Four because apparently fans are doing that. I don't know if that's still happening, but uh yeah just do that and then. You just leave it. <laughs> At this point, I might as well just remake Mother 3 and then localize that. Yeah, just do something. Just release the game at all. Release it so we can finally just be free. Yeah, because it, like, it, it's, just, it's, it's just this rumor that keeps on popping up, like... Uh, like, Mother 3 might be announced at this director whatever, and it never happens, and I just want this cycle to end. <laughs> I... Maybe though, no, that no, no, I'm, I'm, gonna, I'm not gonna put this in people's heads, but yeah, just the Mother Free at Game Awards. That's not gonna happen. Don't get your hopes up. But yeah, man, Legends Three revived on Switch at Game Awards. Calling it now. <laughs> it gets cancelled again. <laughs> Jeez. I I think um, if anything X X uh, nine I think is next uh, X nine yeah I think X nine would be next in uh, next Mega Man game that would happen. What are you gonna say? Um, I can't think of any actual <laughs> retro rips. <laughs> yeah, me like neither. That legitimately, legitimately, be, I can't think of any retro IPs that have legitimately been dormant for. To actually justify being called retro. Yeah, I don't know. It's hard. They 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 have basically all the main like the main ones you can think of. The only other one, Everything. like maybe ex the Excite Biker guy. And Advance Wars technically had a game in the last ten years, but I guess. Yes, so that actually is a missing hole. <laughs> Smash Bros. right now, because yeah, I think this history is gone too, so. Hmm. I'm hoping, I guess, for Andy or Sammy. Um. I think I'm more concerned with. I'm more, like, concerned with the. I'm, I'm less concerned with retro characters at this point, and more concerned for, like, newer IPs that. Not that newer. IPs in the middle. Not particularly recent or successful, but not that old. The Golden Suns, the Chibi Robos, the Dylans, Rolling Westerns, like the stuff that never gets into the roster. Mm -hmm. Maybe some of those IPs have probably missed their chance, barring a new game down the line. <laughs> Yeah. A new game in their series, not a new Smash game, uh. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, oh, gosh, Chibi Robo might have actually had a chance if the focus of this game wasn't bringing back everyone else. Mm. Yeah, it's like, don't have, uh, resources to go too crazy. I do sometimes just ponder on what, a uh, quote-unquote normal game on Switch would be like if they were just kind of focusing on between the 
between 2012 and 2015. Yeah. Thing like if they did character selection based on the kind of how Smash 3S and Wii U did. Mm. <clears throat> so basically plucking from like the last generation. Like how Velma and from Toad. Question mark. Or was like the only one I could actually say, yeah, she'd probably be in this game under different circumstances. Uh, who would be in? If we had a fit another 51 character roster, so they couldn't bring back everyone. Mm. I don't know. Like, I actually mm. do not know. I don't know how that would work, because. No, we don't know the mind of Sakurai. Yeah, it's too hard to uh, try and speculate. We all thought the Sijuai would be the Pokemon rep. Yeah. <laughs> Dumb. <laughs> Making prediction lists for Captain Toad and Waluigi, but no Daisy. Yeah. And morons without the Mii Fighters will be cut. People thinking that we would skip Gen 7 entirely. Yeah. Oh, man. I thought it was going to be... It it was going to be in in cinema or Decidueye, really. I can't really think of... Well, I, I'm not big on a, of a Pokemon fan, so I can't say that much, but... Yeah. Or, or Camp's hope of him as being a Lycanroc or... A small support friend on Smash Bros. Uh, let's see. This person... We just missed the mark on speculation, so we haven't seen this character in any form. That means they're confirmed down the line. No, it just means they're in a Sith trophy still. <laughs> Absence does not equal safety. Yeah. I made that mistake after the November direct. Seen. That means he's DLC. No, he's just a spirit. <laughs> Mm -hmm. You're like, like everyone else, if he wasn't a spirit, that'd be actually kind of stupid because then it would pretty much spoil what DLC would be. Hmm. Wait, what character? I was saying people were noticing that Ben Andy's spirit would, did not show up at all in the November Direct. Oh. Our characters, but they noticed he was kind of conspicuously absent. Then. He showed up later, so we were just kind of up our own bot bottoms off. I don't I think mean, spirits really deconfirm anything, to be honest. I don't think they do, but so the fact that we were taking his absence as I see what kind of stupid, we it would be very weird to kind of spoil that so early. No, I don't think that meant anything, to be honest. Think of a easy, like if this, just like if Bandana D, Dixie Kong, Captain Toad, and Toadette, and uh, my character, oh, Tom Nook, we're all missing. People would start to wonder. It starts, they start getting suspicious. Mm. Yeah. Oh man. Just a week. Oh, I can't take this. <laughs> I can't take this. I think I'll be all right. I just need to focus on some things. <laughs> Are you getting it day one? I have no idea. Hmm. I do. I, small as a new, newcomer's election is, I think Sakurai probably, I think, got the best deal he could have out of what was given to him. Mm. At least expanded a lot of IPs this time around. Smash 3 and Wii kind of pulled everything into four IPs and kind of left everyone. Yeah. 
more new IPs to actually add, but the ones that got expansions were kind of IPs that didn't really need them. Um, three of the four IPs that I meant that I'm thinking of also got characters in Ultimate. Mm. Surprised that we got only one newcomer for Fire Emblem, and it wasn't Celica. Hmm. Yeah. Oh man. I'm happy. I'm, I'm happy for Krom. I, I'm, yeah. I have actually no ill will for towards him. Yeah, like it, it, I feel like uh, he makes sense because people wanted, people wanted him in because um, like he was teased in four. So. That just sucks, by the way. Wait, what? It sucked, by the way. That like sucked all the hype out. Mm. I think it was actually true at one point. The, the the um, I really hated the ESRB leak because that completely like ruined all the fun. It's just like yeah, just have the whole roster. I don't I don't like stuff like that. This way, we learned that ice timers were dead preemptively. That's... Yeah, and like, I like how the guy said in the post, or I forget like what it was exactly, but it's just like, this is not like the whole roster, and it turned out to be the whole roster. Just like, wow. <laughs> not accounting like, DLC, I mean, obviously, but you know. The Gamatsu League got pretty much everything right retroactively, except for the chorus kids. Yeah. I wouldn't be surprised if that. Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised if that was an like an idea Sakurai had, but it just didn't go far. Kingdom Heaven has remained robbed in this. There's a lot of things. Hmm. From that series. Yeah, there's a lot of weird like, just things in, like like Smash development stories that I just. Like, I don't even, I don't know if I want to call them myths, but they're just like weird, they're like, legends. they're like, the Smash Legends, <laughs> I don't know, I don't know, I don't know what to call them. Content? Yeah. The Smash Bros. The development history is always probably my, probably my favorite kind of, Smash Bros. development is probably my favorite thing to learn about, because it's interesting. Yeah. Yeah, just interesting to see what stuff gets left, what's gets what gets in, what gets, what doesn't get in for a crossover. It really is, yeah. I I like like more so than most really any other series I can think of. I love hearing about all the different stuff that goes on with Smash development. Oh gosh, I want to know who was on the short list. <laughs> yeah, like just I like apparently like the whole like everyone is here thing was. Decided really early, apparently. So uh, that's a probably w not not much to hear about. But I'd like to know, like, if there were any other plans for characters that just didn't make it. Jim Myers are gonna have some fun when the game comes out properly. Yeah, when it's actually not illegal. <laughs> I mean, data mining is, isn't, like, really a good thing, like, at all, I guess, but, like, like you, you own the copy at that point, and, uh, you're not, like, illegally downloading the game or anything, so. Oh, man. It's not something I condone, but, whatever. Big to your shit. Well, um. been a long but not all that long hype cycle it's been more nearly nine months since the actual reveal it feel yeah it's crazy it feels longer but it feels longer it feels like I yeah like more now than i did in 2014 yeah oh man i it feels like it's been so long, but it's been the shortest hype cycle for a Smash game we've had, I think. 
Like even I wasn't a, I wasn't really around when the uh, melee was like was like going coming out. Uh but Yeah, I, I don't even think melee was that long of a was uh was um I I I think melee was longer than than ultimate hype cycle. Um no, melee was like six months. Wait, really? All that May revealed in May or June at E3 two thousand one, then released in November. Jeez, okay, never mind then. Huh. They already they showed off the entire default roster sans Zelda at E three. <sighs> Oh yeah, that is true. I have seen I've seen some videos about about it. Yeah, that makes sense. Oh well. People had long hair that revealed. Mm. Yeah, first time you saw the me melee intro. Budget went into that intro. <laughs> yeah. Understand now why Sakurai doesn't want to prefers to have those those stand those character trailers. It's selling the crossover aspect than story mode probably would at this point. It's you can't do this in the what you mentioned in a Fifty Two article, but it's as the roster balloons, it just pretty much gets too difficult to actually develop side scrolling stages. To accommodate every character, so it's just. Wait, really? When when do you? I I don't remember her, him saying this. Wait, what? I think that was his. I think he was explaining that for World of Lights. Why World of Lights? Oh, is the way it is. oh, those kinds of stages, like 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 subsp Your subspace. I thought you were talking. Like, I thought yeah, I thought you were talking about um, I don't know something like my uh Mushroomy Kingdom, like an actual fighting stage. Oh no, those will always exist. Well, actually, right. yeah, Mushroom Kingdom still exists, so yeah. Yeah, it's still a thing. Uh, so wait, his explain was like too many characters makes it awkward for that balance, or? like like the developed side scrolling stages to accommodate every character's basic physics. Sounds like I mean, it's basically a nightmare, and I think that sounds I, that sounds about right. I can understand. I suppose. Um, I'm gonna say. <laughs> yeah, I I believe him. I didn't really think about that until it was mentioned. Um. Hmm. Yeah, I didn't. I haven't really thought about that. I gu I guess. So what? Uh, I mean, was and I guess as a result, depending on how World of Light pans out. Not sure how many cutscenes, how much story interaction we're getting, but I'm not expecting as much as a subspace image series. So uh, that that was much. yeah, that was like an hour long or something. <laughs> Um, so yeah, we're our the character trailers are our real crossover interaction now. Really yeah. Oh, my. Yeah. I mean the trailers are really good, so I'm not too torn up, but still. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah, Sakurai did. I think he did a good. He's done a good job. He's did. Yeah, he's done more of a, more than a good job. I think. Like he he deserves like like a massive break after all was said and done. Wait, what? Like, man. <laughs> I I I feel bad. I had to feel bad for him as well because I I I've seen this post where he said, uh, we can, we we um realize that even if we bring back all the characters and do all this stuff, like we're never gonna please everyone, and that just kind of made my heart sank a little bit. It's like no matter what you do, there's always gonna be those entitled people. And that just makes me sad. Sakurai loves his job, and that's a 
good thing because anyone who took all the crap he took for Brawl oh. will have to love his job to come back. Yeah, that Brawl stuff was bad. Developer, or perhaps more accurately, a saner developer would know when to cut it, know when to say, "Yeah, you guys, yeah, you guys have burned out my patience. I'm not coming back." Yeah. Because the Smash, the Smash community are like is like one of the l l loudest communities out there, really. Also, one of the dumbest. Um. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you're not wrong. <laughs> Thank you, Smash fans, for telling me Daisy would never get in. Made it would be all the sweeter. <laughs> uh. You know, I wanted her until she showed up and rubbed it in your faces. So thank you. And then, like... And, <laughs> and then Zero himself actually watches this video. <laughs> oh, my God. Speaking of Zero, that segue with him in the August direct was great. <laughs> <laughs> almost, almost raised my hopes up a bit. What was this again? Like, I don't remember. They were showing off the items and Pokeballs, summons, and assist trophies in the August Direct. Okay. They just segued kind of into each section, like, segued the Captain Falcon pulling out a Pokeball. Mm. One, Ditto transforms into Inkling, and then Zero shows him and beats up Ditto. Oh, that zero! Uh, I was I was talking about the uh, the the uh, the Smash player. Uh, yeah, that was a good direct. It had the most. I think it had the best pacing of the three. Hmm. Yeah, I definitely. I I agree. I think they they probably should have like saved K Rule for the last direct, I think, because uh Then he would have gotten leaked. <laughs> the, the, um, it's weird because like um I, I I like Canon Incinero, but I don't know. Uh, I feel like uh, you already have um Castle the Castlevania reps in that direct. Uh so like it it would have been, I, th I think it would have been fine to like save K. Roll for like the last one, just to have that big reveal at the end. I don't know. Roll saved the August Direct though, because Nintendo went up leaking Simon themselves. That's true. That's true. At least they didn't leak the Echo Fires. It's like. Never thought I'd say this, but thank goodness for Crom. <laughs> yeah. Oh gosh, people pissed on Crom so much. I was I was actually happy to see him in like what's what's his Smash Bros. They yeah. It was like an They're inverse ruthless. Roy because Fire... it's like an inverse Roy because Smash fans hate him, but Fire Emblem fans like him. Mm. Posted the video. <laughs> wait, wait, where is this? Oh, Sir. wow. Okay. Wow. <laughs> okay. Oh, it's amazing. Oh, gosh. What was I going to say? I'm just being kind of. <laughs> the description send your HD snow pictures and videos to Super Mario Sonic Lover. Man has a unique attraction to it. Oh my gosh. I'm liking the video. <laughs> oh, yeah, context for those who, um, those who want to know. this link to the video in our video right now, Harry. <laughs> Wait, what? Say that again? The video in our video's description when this video goes up. Okay. 
You'll see. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> You'll see. Yeah, Smash fans have been vile. Um, more vile than usual, it seems. Maybe because mm. I was following certain sites more than others. Mm. It was uh, there's always tribalism, but, but it seems like it got worse from Smash 3ds and Wii U. Yeah. A lot of people like, um, I I do. I do like in Smash Four. I did miss ca some characters, but I really don't agree to the the idea of this one character didn't didn't come back. Therefore, the game's crap. Like I don't like that m mindset. This is the problem. This is the double edged sword. That uh, this is the dark side of having a crossover fighter. Yeah. <laughs> games will always have people attached to the members of the roster, but established characters so you're bringing fandoms from all over and they're gonna come with a baggage <clears throat> um, there's a lot of character requests to be honest mm. there's just a lot of People just do not know how to stop gatekeeping. I'm too tired to even bring it to the labs and elaborate on this. Yeah, that's fine. People, smash, uh, smash fans suck. <laughs> no, I, I don't. I don't think. I I don't think all smash fans suck, but like, uh, it's just, uh. Like the the vocal the vocal minority, let's say. The, 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 these guys those guys are just annoying. <laughs> Stop acting like you know the minds of the developers. Stop acting like you've not been routinely proven wrong in in the past. You can't you can't work out the what goes on in, in this man's brain. Like he does what he wants. Stop acting like your friend's choices are dumb and stupid because yours probably Probably are too. <laughs> Pete's like, take a shower. <laughs> uh, uh, that's a good way to end the night. <laughs> I mean, jack offs during Evo, okay? <sighs> that was embarrassing. Oh, the, the, are you talking about the Bayonetta thing? Yes. What's your stance on that, if any? Like, <laughs> I don't care that much, but stop, stop humiliating yourselves. Game. Uh. My gosh, if they're taking out back for the for next year's Evo, that will be a godsend. Oh, man. DLC is gonna DLC is gonna burn this fandom to the ground. Mm. So, um, my words of my words of genuine genuine advice everyone support your character peacefully of course but don't get too attached as well too attached because I do recall the to me from the last type cycle at the end of the smash ballot yeah that was just so I think I personally felt a little empty. Mm. I wanted wasn't happening, but it was some disappointment on my part. But and I one thing I remember was going on DeviantArt to look at to look at new art. Be up. <clears throat> and then this one just kind of it was, a, it was a it was just a picture of K. Rule, Shovel Knight, and Shantae. 
direct. And they're like, that's it? I'm like, yeah, that was it. I can sympathize with their supporters. Do not get too attached. Mm. Nothing is guaranteed in this series. Yeah, I I like yeah. I, I I have those like characters that I, I always like go back to as like I'd really want these guys in. Uh, like Dixie, Crash, Rayman, Banjo and all those. But I I really realistically I don't really see them like most of them happening, to be honest. And uh I I I kinda uh, I, I'm kind of on the mindset of, like, uh, ex ex expect the worst, hope for the best, or something like that. Basically, is what we should all do. Um, the good news is I, the good news is I'm, I trust the team to make the characters fun to play at least. So. Yeah, I hope what they uh, whatever they cho chose for the DLC like is a, an interesting choice. I guess the good news is that since pretty much all the other expected front runners, be Spring Man, maybe Rex. Mm, Rex is. Just at least. Rex of... is borderline, but. Yeah. Most of the assumed fandom front runners are benched for the time being. At least, that at least means that they can kind of go in fresh. It's a mostly even playing field. Mm. Who knows? Since Sakurai technically other people for this roster, it's a bit different. I've never been good at finishing things like. How I, how I actually conclude essays is beyond me. Um, uh, essentially, what am I trying to say? Responsibly. Yeah. Do not lose hope. Mm. Characters have. Your character you want probably has actually actually does have merits. Yeah. Don't, don't let people bully you into into submission. <sighs> oh, that was a run. <laughs> I think I have. We have discussed Smash Bros. Oh. Once. And I'm ready for the game to come out, so I won't actually play it. But that's what I do now. Get games with my brother again. I want to use the Gus Bellows. It's online. I want to make a me fighter with lips costume because that's. That's all I'm gonna get, and that's okay. Yeah, that'd be nice. And we're like, oh, we're yeah, we're over the time of our <laughs> the other video we did. <laughs> Done enough Smash discussion to last a lifetime. Yeah, I, there's nothing else we can say at this point. Also, the the whole video is just. A darkened out PS4 with Spyro Reignited Trilogy, like, just staring at people's face. Discuss something maybe when DLC is actually revealed, but... We have no... x uh, plot was a mistake, not his name! <laughs> don't have a finger on the pulse of what DLC criteria is going to be like this time around. Yeah. Andy is still... A table though for that
And I'm predicting what we won't get is more music from Final Fantasy. That's more Square's fault, uh, I think. Like, they're, they're really picky about that stuff. Well, at least I can, that's the one thing I can safely say. Yeah. It, it, it's it sucks for Final Fa it sucks for Final Fantasy fans that that has to happen because it's I I would imagine like um Sakurai like and his team like like try tried their best but you know Square just seemed to be really awkward to deal with. Japanese music rights in general seem like an absolute cluster frenzy sometimes. Yeah. I love that you know, phrase, uh, cluster frenzy. <laughs> if you um, yeah, like, I think should just split the difference and put some Mario Group stream on free music on Midgar. <laughs> I, I wouldn't mind that. Yeah, that would be funny. And like Final Fantasy VII, I actually played Hoop Mario Hoops, so. I haven't. It's, it's alright. <sighs> I ain't got yeah. Not yet written. We have uh, keep your spirits up. Uh huh. I'll see what we did. Yeah. Um, spirits up. Cause none of cause we're in for a ride. I fall asleep. Okay, I'm done. Please end this. <laughs> uh, well, I guess uh, since I, I'm a, I want to uh, give people people some closure because um last time um in the last video uh I talked about like some friends coming over to watch Love Live. Um, well, I, I think one of, one of the friends, uh, has already seen the show before, but, no, he's still there. Um, Jory uh, and Azzy, uh, <laughs> Azzy thought it was adorable, um, and I, I'm not very, I think Jory said he need, he needs, he needs to watch more, but it passed the free episode rule, so that's that, I guess, but. Yeah, but just since we're doing a similar video, uh, to that thing we did, uh, and just wanted to say that people cared about having closure on that, and uh, we're probably, I, I think we 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 should be having another me up next week, and um, yeah, we're gonna <laughs> gonna gonna be gonna have to watch, gonna have to do a free episode quite a like right away because as soon as we open up smash we're not gonna get out of it <laughs> yeah you know, even we're just talking about smash bros love lock has to hijack something yeah i like how uh yes um yesterday uh we were watching devil's a part-timer uh and um i didn't even say anything and uh Scrappy, uh, you, uh, Scrappy, uh, and uh, Xavier just making these love life jokes in the rabbit chat. <laughs> I, I, I had nothing to do with that. I just, uh, I didn't even mention, I didn't even, I didn't mention anything. Corrupted <laughs> us, like. <laughs> Man. Anyway, you got anything to say? <laughs> this be the part where I sing Snow Halation, but I don't know the lyrics to that, so good night. To do Kate, Snow Halation. <laughs> okay, good night. <laughs> Almost an hour long, this video.